Hi, I'm Victoria, the Progressive Center Summer Student Science Ambassador, and this is my sixth week of at-home science experiments. This week's experiment is all about moon phases. Have you ever looked outside one night to see a full moon and looked outside a few days later to see a half moon? Have you ever wondered why that is? Well, there are a few factors that contribute to moon phases. One of these factors is how the moon is tidally locked to the Earth. When we say an object is tidally locked, it means its rotations and revolutions, or days and years, take the same amount of time. So we only ever see one side of the moon at a time. Then, the sun can only shine on half the moon at once. And because the sun is what causes the moon to look like it's lighting up, we would have to wait for the half of the moon that we can see and the half of the moon that the sun is shining on to be facing us in order to see a full moon. Now, to show you this a bit better, we're going to be building a model showing how moon phases work. For this experiment, you will be needing styrofoam balls, markers or paint, a flashlight, shish kebab stewards, and plaster scene. So, the first thing you want to do for this experiment is paint the Earth and the Moon. The larger styrofoam ball should look like the Earth. I've done it green and blue here. And I did the Moon just with one side black. It's very important for this experiment that one side is black because that's going to represent the dark side of the Moon. Okay, so now you're going to take two shish kebab stewards and you're going to put them into the Earth and the Moon, just like so. Okay, and now we're going to take a piece of plaster scene and we're going to use it to make the Earth stand up like this. Okay, so once you have the Earth standing up like this, you're going to take your flashlight. It would be helpful if you can get someone else to hold the flashlight for the purpose of this experiment, but I'm just going to put mine on a stand I have over here. Okay. So now that the flashlight is shining on the earth, you can take the moon and you can slowly bring it around the earth. As you do this, look at all the angles the light is hitting the moon. So what's going on here is the light is representing the sun. The sun is always pointing at one side of the earth. No matter what, the sun is always on one side of the earth. But the moon moves around the earth in circles about once every month or so. And when the light from the sun hits the moon, it causes it to light up. And when you do this, keep the dark side or the side painted black away from the sun at all times because this is the dark side of the moon. It's the moon, it's the side of the moon that we're never going to see from Earth at least. And you can look at it from uh, several different angles and see what angles you'll be able to view this um, a full moon a new moon a waxing crescent warning crescent and all that anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching